Um, camera's eight feet, 11 inches from the wall. paper. You got paper that's sloped with a gap. You got like a hole. That's probably, I don't know, three and a half feet away from the wall. Image is a uh, black and white image uh, that's created from the depth measurements. If you click on this image, it shows you the coordinates of the pixel that you uh, click on and the distance. So we know it's 8 feet 11 inches because we measured it. Click right here. 8 feet 11 inches, 8 feet 11 inches, 8 feet 11 inches. So we know the camera's squared up. Um, what this does is, for example, here's the red line. What happens everywhere this red line is, it extracts all the measurements for all the pixels that the red line is covering, and it's displayed down here in a graph. There's 512 pixels across the screen, so there's actually 512 lines in this uh, graph. Um, the, all these lines are movable. There's four lines. There's a red, a blue, a green, and a yellow line. They all are measuring at the same time. Let's take the red line, for example. You can move it. We're going to move it down to the wavy paper. As you can see, you can see the waves in the paper. It picks up, picks up the waves, the wavy paper. Um, we're going to take the blue line, and we're going to put it over this paper that's sloped and has a gap. As you can see, the blue line, it picks up the slope of the paper, the gap, and the other slope. We're going to take the green line, move it over this hole. And as you can see, uh, the, 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 the image is actually going through the hole and measuring the wall that's behind the hole. So if you click on down here, we know the wall is 8 feet 11 inches, so we'll click there. 8 feet 11 inches. Click on the, the cardboard. It's 6 feet 3 inches away from the camera. We know the wall is 8 feet 11 inches, so if we click on the hole, 8 feet 11 inches. So it's actually seen through the hole in the wall and measuring. Um, all the lines do the same thing. All the lines can move over the top of each other. can be cropped up if we don't if you don't need everything like the screen line for example you can crop it up if you don't need it all and they're still movable um, up here this shows this is for every line how many pixels that it's seen, and there's an adjustment down here. There's a, me a measurement window. You can adjust how many pixels that it sees that is you're getting the feedback from. So you can lower the threshold. You see, once it goes below the top, they go away. It's just a pixel count. Um, all this, all this data can be sent to a PLC. There's the, the task manager. I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, 
the start the columns of the PLC, and you'll see the Ethernet will start up. So we've started the communication of the PLC. You can see the Ethernet has started up. It's now communicating with the PLC. What it does is every 100 milliseconds, it takes a set of 512 integer arrays, which is all the measurements in, in, in one of the lines, and it sends it to the, every 100 milliseconds, it sends 512 measurement integer array to the PLC. Um, let's see. So let's click on the blue red line. Just to show you how quickly it's processing, I'm gonna get in front of the camera. So the camera's processing my blue, it's just pretty quickly. It's writing 512 integer arrays to the PLC, four of them every 100 milliseconds. That's about it.